that's a good one to check out. Um, awesome. Tell me, tell me, tell me about the science. Sure. So, if you remember from a couple of years ago, the James Webb telescope that they ah, launched. Ah, yes. And first of all, it did amazing, and it's still producing mind blowing images. Mm -hmm. So, what they're finding are pulsars where they're not expecting it. Mm. Now, pulsars are what's left, uh, it, it, like in the image there, you see that thing in the middle of the image they circled, and they're like, um, why is that there? <laughs> we, b based on the models they currently have, mm -hmm. they're like, okay, pulsars are basically, you have black holes, and basically as they're, as it's eating material, it's ejecting radiation from the side, and giant streams, and they, if they wobble, you, from, let's say, from Earth's perspective, you get boop, 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 and it's very so you get that. That's why they're calling pulsars. And based on they're like, well, this should only be six to seven hundred million years from the beginning of the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking 13.4, 13.5 billion years ago. Given our current model, we're like, okay, given how much matter was around back then. This thing should not exist because there shouldn't be enough matter for it to actually create. And this is the fun part of science that a lot of people don't get. And this is kind of uh, going into my rant a little bit. Uh, because when I did it, when I found the stories on Google News, the headlines were always scientists baffled. Or scientists have no idea what's going on. And, you know, it, it makes it sound like scientists are like, oh, no, my model is broken. I'm so upset. I must do something. And there may be one or two people like that. But for the most part, if a scientist is working on something and they get information back and they're like, well, this should happen. And they go, no, this is what's actually happening. They're like, Okay, first of all, let me make sure there's not like, um, there was literally at one time or poop on a radio telescope <laughs> that was causing interference. So let me make sure my instruments are good. Let me make sure my calculations are good. Let me check with someone else to make sure my calculations are good because I could have made an error. You know, peer review, make sure everything, and they'll look at it. Okay, no. Our models say A, we're getting B. This is exciting. This is new. This is different. This is breaking what we were expecting. And scientists are like, okay, now we have to figure now we have to figure out why this is happening. Mm 